We've got good news. We've got a — just spoke with Speaker McCarthy, and we've reached a bipartisan budget agreement that we're ready to move to the full Congress. And just in the last couple of minutes, the bill itself was released. Sean Coffey joining us live here in downtown Raleigh to impact what's in it and how it could impact you. Sean? Yeah, Josh, experts are calling this agreement a, a healthy form of compromise rarely seen in Washington today. And while it's still pending approval in both chambers of commerce or Congress, rather, tonight, they're describing a crisis very, very, very narrowly averted. It's almost hard to quantify something that has never happened before, but I think most economists would agree that it's not something we even want to mess with. With a debt ceiling deal tentatively in place tonight, Americans across the political spectrum breathing a sigh of relief. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy calls it progress. I think at the end of the day, people can look together to be able to pass this in the House and the Senate together to sign it and send it to the president. The would-be deal increases the debt ceiling for two years while keeping non-military spending virtually flat over the same time period. It also maintains funding for veterans' health care and increases work requirements for adults receiving government assistance like food stamps. We are going to see an increase in the overall federal budget, but in some key programs that President Biden wanted to see increased, they will not increase, and Republicans say that's a victory. Opponents, like North Carolina Congressman Dan Bishop, call it a GOP sellout. But political science professor David McLennan says there's not enough opposition to block it. I don't think um, he has the votes to stop this in the House, nor do they have the votes in the Senate, but it could be a messy week. Folks in Raleigh dealing with the messy weather believe that the mess in Washington seems to have been avoided. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all Americans, we're all humans. Yeah, I mean, I, we want to take care of each other, so I'm down with it. It's a step in the right direction. We got a long way to go from here. And now that the bill text has been released, all eyes turning, of course, to Congress, Josh, it will need to pass a simple majority in the House and at least receive support from 60 senators all before June 5th, if that worst case scenario is to be avoided. So something we'll be sure to keep an eye on here over the coming week. We're live in Raleigh, Sean Coffey, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Sean, I'm sure there'll be some new developments coming out of Washington, as there usually are in the days ahead. We'll be following it, Sean, live in downtown Raleigh for us, Sean. Thank you.